Hi viewers, hopefully you have watched my two videos and those who haven't yet watched those videos, links are given in the description below, you can watch it out. And now, uh, before starting today's topic, I would like to put one question which is relevant to today's topic. As you see this is the wall, I am standing in front of the wall. So what is the structural unit of this entire building? Now those who have thought about the brick, they have hit the bullseye. The uh, structural unit of this entire building is the brick. Now if you ask you the uh, another question, what is the structural unit of the living organism? The answer is the cell. So this brings us to today's topic, the cell. The cell is also regarded as the functional unit of life. The cell is the structural and functional unit of life. Now before going into the detail about cells, four things are very important to know. In this video, we will discuss these four important points regarding the cell. Number one, why cell is called the structural and functional unit of life. Then who first discovered the cell? Then who first invented the compound microscope? Then the cell theories at the last. So these four points are very very important. Now let us see why cell is called the structural and functional unit of life. Now you see, it's written over the board. As a structural unit of building is a brick. Similarly, the body of a multicellular organism is made up of aggregation of trillions of cells. As you know, our body is made up of trillions of cells. So, the structural unit of the entire body is the cell. This is why the cell is called the structural unit of life. Now we come into why it's called the functional unit of life. It is called functional unit of life. It is because living organisms do perform some physiological activities like photosynthesis, respiration, nutrition, excretion, growth, reproduction. These are all physiological activities shown by the living organisms. Living organisms means human, rat, bat, cat and among the plant kingdom it may be the gymnosperm, angiosperm, halophyta, bryophyta, all these living organisms do perform photosynthesis, respiration, nutrition, excretion, growth, reproduction. Now except the uh, animal plant do photosynthesize. So uh, living organism performs all these activities. Living organisms. Now this particular cell, particular cell, one cell has got the capability of performing all these physiological activities. As for example, unicellular algae is called Chlamydomonas number two ball box. Unicellular ball box also seen in the colonial form and in case of single wall box and in case of single camaronas they can perform all these physiological activities the cell has got the power to perform all these physiological activities therefore the cell is also regarded as the functional unit of life now see it is written over the board a living organism performs life activities like photosynthesis respiration nutrition excretion growth and reproduction Similarly, a single cell can perform all these activities. Hence, cell is regarded as the functional unit of life. So, altogether, cell is called the structural and functional unit of life. So, this is the definition also. What is a cell? Cell is the structural and functional unit of life. Now, who first observed the cell? Robert Hooke, in the year of 1665, he observed the dead cells under the simple microscope. Simple microscope is the, is the only magnifying glass. Under the magnifying glass, he observed cells in the slice of cork. He took the dead cells of cork under the microscope. He observed this honeycomb like structure. This hexagonal structure he observed. These are all dead cells. In the year of 1665, Robert Hooke first observed the 
honeycomb like structure in the slice of cork and he first observed the dead cells. Then Anthony von Leeuwenhoek, he first observed the living cell. He observed some living cell under the compound microscope. In the compound microscope, we do see there are two lenses. Now in, in this part, we will get three in, informations. Number one, Anthony von Leeuwenhoek, he first invented the compound microscope, number one. He first observed the living cell under, the, under that microscope. And number three, he is regarded as the father of microbiology. So these three important information you will get in this portion, Anthony von Leeuwenhoek. And at last, you will see the cell theories. What are the cell theories? The, the cell originates from the single cell called zygote. Number two, cell origins from the pre-existing cell number three and number four is the cell is the structural and functional unit of life this is over the board cell theories life starts from the single cell or the zygote cell origins from the pre-existing cell cell is the structural and functional unit of life these three are most important so let us do the recapitulation the cell is the structural functional functional unit of life number one number two robert hook first observed the dead cell under the microscope number three antony von leeuwenhoek first ob observed the living cells under the compound microscope and number four is the cell theories there are three cell, cell theories number one the, the life starts from the single cell called zygote number two the cell originates from the pre-existing cell you cannot prepare a cell in the laboratory. It, it, it originates from the pre-existing cell. And number three, cell is the structural, functional unit of life. Thank you. And um, all, the, all the details will be given in the description below. So my dear friends, if you like this video, please hit the like button and then leave some comments in the comment section if you have got any feedbacks. And please do subscribe this video so that you get notified. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.